Hey guys, welcome. So in the previous video, we looked at how to add CI CD for serverless applications. And in this episode, we are going to go through a series of videos, a four part uh, video series on how to add CI CD for containerized applications. So the services that we are going to use for this series are AWS ECS or Elastic Container Service, which use AWS Fargate. And then we are going to use AWS ECR or Elastic Container Registry to have our uh, old Docker containers uh, or other container images. And then uh, we are going to use AWS Code Pipeline to automate this whole process. So I told you it's going to be four parts. In the first part, we are going to look at our uh, containerized application and run it locally. And then we will create uh, the resources on AWS like ECR and we'll push that image to the remote repository. In the second part, we need to create the network that is required to run our application. So the network as in like we need to have our load balancers run on a public subnet so that can be accessible from internet from anywhere. But the containers that is running inside our ECS cluster should be in a private network which cannot be accessed outside other than uh, through the load balancer. So we need to configure this network so that will be the main focus on the part 2. In part 3 we will connect all our services and test our application if it all works fine. And if that all works fine in the last part the part 4 we will automate everything so that whenever we push a code to our GitHub, it will trigger the code pipeline and the code pipeline is going to build the container image on ECR. Then it will trigger uh, the ECS to deploy a new container and our application will be updated without we having to intervene. So that's the plan for this series and I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in part one. Okay, now this is our GitHub repository and I will clone this repository by clicking here and copy the URL. Now get back to my terminal and let's create a new folder in desktop. Let's, I will call it hello and I will cd into hello folder and I will open it in Visual Studio Code. Now I will open up an integrated terminal right here. I will type git clone and the repository URL and let's clone the content into this folder. Now let's explore the files. I will go into this folder. So there are a couple of files. One is app.js. Now this is our entire container code. So this is nothing but a simple express application. And this express application, it has two routes. You know, this route is the main route or the default route, which sends hello world to the client. And there's another route. I have named it as slash health. Now this we will use it as the health check endpoint for our load balancer. So it's nothing but returning the status code 200 with healthy text. And then we have app.listen. So our express application is listening on port 3000. So we have opened up the port 3000 for this application. Now if we run this locally, I will just clear the screen. I will go into CICD container folder and ls. So these are the files. So I will run node app.js so in order to run it locally. So we have to install express. So in order to do that, we have to run npm install. The dependencies are listed in here, package JSON file. So it has installed express. Now let's again run node app.js. So now app is listening on 3000. And open up a new tab and type localhost 3000 and you should see the hello world. And if I go to my health check endpoint, that is slash health, it should just give me healthy message. And if I inspect it in network tab and uh, do another refresh here, you should also see the health check status is 200. Okay, now this is the application that we are going to dockerize. So I will stop the server. And now you can see the docker file along with the app.js file. So this is the docker file. So in this docker file, we have several instructions. First, we will use the Alpine docker image as our based image. So this is one of the very lightest image that we can run Node.js or that we can install rather Node.js and NPM. 
So that is exactly what we are doing at the second line. So I am adding uh, Node.js and NPM and I'm installing it using APK Package Manager. And after Node.js and NPM is installed, I will create a new directory slash app and I will set it as my work directory. So all other commands beneath here will run inside this directory. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to copy the package JSON file. So this file into this slash app folder. So that's what I'm going to do here. Copy package JSON into the folder I created here. And then I'm going to run npm install. So at that point, I haven't yet copied all my source code. That means app.js and this gtigno file or any other file that may contain in your application into this app folder because I just want to use the Docker caching benefits. So I run npm install to get the express uh, package installed. And after that, I will copy the rest of the code here into my app folder. So the rest of the code will get copied into app folder. So then I will expose 3000 because my app is running on port 3000. And then I have a CMD command. So this get run when somebody issue a Docker run command on the image that is built from this Docker file. So as the run command, I will run npm start, which will run my application. So let's try this in local machine. So I'll open up the terminal, clear the screen, and let's see which folder I'm in. Okay, I have the Docker file and everything here. And let's first build this file. So I will type docker build and let's tag this image dash t YouTube. I will just say local and this is the latest version. And then I will add period. So the period denotes the path of the Docker file. So which is right in this folder. So that's why this period here. And then I will hit enter. So it's going to build my image and it is successfully built. You can see this, it ran through the steps. And now if I just do Docker images, I should see my YouTube local repository, which is this one. Okay, now let's spin up a container using this Docker image. So I will just uh, copy this image ID and then I will clear the screen and let's run the command Docker run in interactive mode dash it and I will do a port mapping. Now the express application that will be running inside this container will run on port 3000. So let's do a port mapping to host to the container. So I'll use uh, port 80. Okay, let's use just 80 through to uh, port 3000 inside the container. And then I will just paste the container ID, which I just copied and hit enter. Okay, the application is running. So now instead of a local host 3000, I can just type local host and hit enter. And there you go. Hello world is shown. Now it is running inside the container. Now in order to run it locally, you have to install Docker in your machine and make sure Docker is running in your machine. It could be Mac OS, it could be Windows or Linux. You can simply install Docker for that. So now let's push this image to a remote repository. Now for remote repository, you can either use Docker Hub or AWS ECR, Elastic Container Registry. We are going to use ECR or Elastic Container Registry that is managed by AWS. So I will go to AWS and I will search for ECR. I will click Create Repository. So let's create a remote repository. Type YouTube and create the repository. So you have your Docker repository here. Now this is the URI of my repository. Now in order to push an image to this repository, we have to use this URI. So if I go into this repository at the moment, I don't have any images. So let's push that local image up to this ECR. We'll come back to my terminal. Now first we have to log into AWS in order to push images to ECR. Now open up this ECR command.txt file. So we can use this command here, AWS ECR get login and then the region. Now before running this command, you have to install AWS CLI in your local machine. So if you haven't installed, you can go to a browser and simply type install AWS CLI. That will take you to the first main URL here. Click on that. And here you can see how to install AWS CLI on different operating system for Windows, Mac OS or Linux. So you can follow the instruction and get it installed. 
in windows it's just a matter of installing an msi and once you have set up go back to your cli and then execute this command i copy this and i paste it here and hit enter now we are logged in successfully we have used us east one region because our ecr repository is in this region okay now let's build a new image i will use this command docker build dash t earlier we built for local youtube local now let's call it just youtube and the context is dot so it can find the docker file in the same folder and i will hit enter so it's going to build that image successfully and once it is built i can tag that image so in order to do that i will type docker tag then here i have to type the image name so the image name i used is uh, youtube latest so i will paste it here and then you have to point it to the re remote repository so in order to find the ecr url you can simply go to your repository here and just click on the copy button it will copy this url and come back to your terminal and paste that in and i will tag it latest at the end so it will mark as the latest one and i will hit enter so it is now properly tagged now we can easily push it to ecr by using docker push we'll type docker push then i have to again paste the ecr url which i just copied i will paste it here and then i will add the tag name again colon latest and i will hit enter so that's going to push my local image up to my remote repository in ecr okay now it is successful i will go back to my repository and i will click on the youtube so now i can see the latest image tag and this is my image uri so it is successfully pushed onto my ecr now we completed the part one